If there's one place we love to shop for the highest quality produce during our Cleansing with Food workshop, it's our local farmer's markets. This is where you can find the essential fuel to power through these 21 days while savoring the delicious flavors of in-season, organic, and sustainably farmed produce. And at some farmer's markets, you'll find organic grass-fed meats, poultry, and wild fish. Come with us on a typical Southern California Saturday morning, and we'll show you some of our favorite things we love to bring home. Lemons, we want to get in abundance, you guys, because every day we're going to be having lemon water. So in particular, the Meyer lemon, you can tell they're a little bit softer on the skin, and they're hybrid between the orange and the lemon. And then you can also get um, some limes, which you need, purple limes. So this is the only citrus that you're going to be eating while And she's got avocados, and the avocados is another really wonderful thing to have in your pantry. Yeah, so good. On the cleanse, mushrooms are really healing and beneficial. We use them a lot in stir fries and cooking for pastas and things. They're really needy. Like for these, like you can use this if you're a vegetarian. It's a really great option to marinate it and then saute it and eat it like a burger. So these are an oyster mushroom. And then these are our, let's see. Absolutely really good shiitake. Shiitake is yes. like, oh. I put shiitake. We, put we shiitake have a shiitake healing shiitake right soup. So all of these you'll be utilizing and they're all the different varieties from the white buttons to the carminis, all the different sizes. Broccoli is one of our favorite foods that we use for stir fries, roasting, and soups. So this is definitely something we buy a lot of while cleansing. These are all the different varieties of cauliflower. You have cheddar, you have purple, green, white cauliflower, spring cauliflower. So they all taste a little different, but they're all super delicious and use the variety if you find them. This is Romanesque. It's like a mix between a cauliflower and broccoli. It can be substituted as broccoli. You roast it, put it in soups. So delicious, we're using this a lot on the cleanse, and it's actually extremely sweet, like you can take it and eat it raw. Hmm? Monica! Hey, hey, how are you? So hey. good! This is the best deal in the entire market here, right here, <laughs> this bag of Medjool. These lettuces are our favorite. But when you're setting up the pantry for the cleanse, you want to be using all of these leafy greens for salads. Switch it up. All of them are delicious. This baby greens, baby kale, and these are baby kales, are so tender and so delicate, and they just taste really delicious in either your soups or your smoothies. Fabulous to have something like this. And the tenderness comes from them being a younger plant. It's so a baby. Yes, yeah, a little sweeter. This is the purple kale, the dino kale, all these different kinds. These, I love these, are the curly kale, collards, fantastic, Swiss chard, another variety of Swiss chard. Notice all the different colors. And then, of course, dandelion, which is so good for our liver. Great for soups. Just sauteing them up or even throwing them in your smoothies. Check out these leeks, you guys. You don't find leeks like this in a grocery store. Because look at how much of the leek we actually use. And leeks are a staple in our pantry. All right, so you have leeks, you green have onion. green onion, you have all or these herbs. Where's all your ones we and parsley. parsley? Well, this is the cilantro that got stuck Yeah. And then you have other greens like bok choy, but these are the things that are great to always keep on hand. What they don't have here is other types of parsley, the curly parsley and dill, and these are things that you can find at another market, which are great to use throughout the class. More ways to enhance the flavor of soups and just your greens. Adding fennel is an incredible food to have. So fennel, this fennel is just amazing. We use the bulb. We also use the fronds for decor, garnishes. You've got celery. And oh my goodness, if you've never tried celery root, this is so much more mild than just regular celery and is again, great for soups or anything else. Another great option for using celery root is we roast it and we also cook it down and make it into a mashed potato with cauliflower. So really, really versatile food. Sugar snap peas are so sweet. We put these in stir fries and soups and all you do is you peel the top off, you take this little string, 
so delicious with hummus, definitely a pantry staple. Right here we have winter squashes that's again, what's so great about winter squashes for your pantries, they last, the last the whole 21 days. So you have butternut squash, we have spaghetti squash, that's another great alternative for the, um, for just having a pasta with pesto, clean pesto. How do you shop these? If you want a fatter neck, because this is where all the meat is, this you're gonna have the seeds. So when I'm looking for them, this is small, but this is gonna have a ton of meat with it. And when it comes to spaghetti squash, you're looking for the weight. Yellow means it's riper, and you want it between, you look at similar sizes, you want to take the heavier one. And then the same like when you're shopping for anything, smell it. Oh my God, these carrots smell absolutely divine. They're gonna make your soup stocks taste so much better, as well as just anything, just eating them raw. These gnarled veggies are daikon radishes. These are really great. They can be a little bit spicy, but they're great with hummus, raw, slicing them up, putting them into stir fry, roasting them is really great. And then these are kohlrabi. They kind of look like little dinosaur eggs. They come in purple and these green right here. And what we do is we just peel the skin off, slice them up, eat them with hummus, put them in stir fries. Really, really great vegetable that you can find during the wintertime. Look at these all prepared. These beautiful carrots. Yes. And, and beets. Oh my gosh, look at these beets. Already cut. These cut beets make everything so much easier. Look at And now they have the carrots all cut for you. Green beans are all ready. This is a gem at the market. On the cleanse, we need a whole variety of fruit. We absolutely love our blueberries and blackberries. Raspberries, really great with your coconut yogurts, with your grain free granolas, and just a snack foods to have. Persimmons, these are awesome for the cleanse. High in fiber, they're insane. And they don't last long. This is like the last that we have. So what you do is just cut them up and freeze them, and then you get them for the whole 21 days. It's super important when you're on the cleanse that you're making sure you're eating grass fed, natural, organic meats. If you are eating meats, in particular, we're focusing on chickens and lamb and bison and game, and these are all things that we can find at our farmers' markets. You can also find them at your local butchers as well. With so much fresh organic produce to explore, you can truly spend hours at your local farmer's market. Whether you're prepping for our Cleansing with Food workshop or interested in living a more farm-to-table lifestyle, a visit to the farmer's market is time well spent. Happy shopping.